Hello everyone, welcome to this new let's play. This is the one that uh, is going to replace the survival challenge that we ended, I think, this week, if I remember correctly. Uh, I initially wanted to start another survival challenge, but since our Glenatan series it's more or less a start from scratch because we don't have lots of money and big equipment and stuff like that, I decided to go on another route and uh, for this let's play I've picked an American map none other than Alma, Missouri if you didn't recognize it and uh, we'll start this series on New Farmer with exactly what the map maker intended, intended us to start with and we are starting right here in this corner and we have this uh, what's it called John Deere Gator I think Yes, John Deere Gator. And regarding the starting farm, it's on the other side of the map, so we are going to go there. And we have some silos, we have some equipment, we'll see at the farm what we have, and we have three plots of land. And I think that is it. Uh, we have $100,000 in the bank. Uh, no animals, no productions yet. We need to alter some settings because I'm not playing on easy this one. I want to play it on normal. Uh, we are going to do seasons, one day per month, crop destruction. We want to do plowing, but we don't want to do stone. Uh, automatic engine start will be off. We'll use fuel normally and all the AI helpers will not buy any, anything when they work they will use our own resources so that being said let's start this machine over here and uh, try getting to the farm uh, so if i remember correctly the, i need to follow up this road i did before starting this uh, tour of the map to get a little bit acquainted with uh, the surrounding surroundings and everything uh, and as far as I saw this is a beautiful map we also have some new crop types uh, we have rye, we have peas and we have alfalfa and we are going to use all of them I think we already have an alfalfa field and for the next year's rotation crops I want to plant rye and maybe also peas but I have to check the calendar to see when these uh, types of crops need to be planted because it's very much likely that I don't have enough time to plant both of them for this uh, on this year because on the ground right now we have I think corn yes wheat and alfalfa and the corn is not ready to harvest yet, so yeah, maybe in the wheat field after we harvest it, maybe we can put peas, and on the other one we can put rice, but uh, not rice, uh, rye. But uh, we'll have to see. I mean, if we go to the crop calendar, I'll go to the crop calendar right after I make a leftover here so I can keep going while we look at the at the calendar I think this is where we need to make a left to get to the farm so if we go to the crop calendar like I said rye can be planted in September and October and peas could be planted in April so I think after we harvest the wheat in that field, we are going to put rye back on it and peas we are going to put in the field where we have corn, but in the spring. The map is amazing, we have a lot of terrain deformation, I mean it's not a flat map, even though it's, it's American. I don't know if the region of Alma, where this map is originating from, uh, it's more or less the same, but I'd like to think that it is. Uh, 
and where we want to go with this series because we didn't discuss this uh, I want to go let's say the animal route but first of all I want to get sheep as soon as possible to make wool because my goal in this series one of my goals in this series at least the one that I I'm setting right now is to produce clothes I think we have a tailor shop on the map but we don't have a spinnery so we'll need to find a place to put a spinnery uh, and uh, also maybe make some dairy products from the cow's milk but we will have to see about that so here we are, here we are. This, is, uh, this is our farm we, we are going to park this machine over here this is the house and we have a garage over there I think it's a working one uh, let's start from this side we have a shed here let's see what we have inside it because I think we should have something yes we have a case maximum 115 and we have a case axial flow 7150 with a corn header here uh, we also have a grain header for the case just outside the shed uh, we have a Brunner power tube trailer we have these kinds of beans I'm not particularly fond of these types of silos but since we have them I'm going to try and use them uh, this I think it needs to be started as a real machine it's off and I'm trying to position it uh, on top of the first silo and when that is filled I will move it to the middle one I don't know if the, these uh, silos are connected in any way but yeah let's uh, let's try I mean I think this should be more or less positioned I need the menu over here because I don't know exactly how to uh, yeah that's what I didn't know how to move this and I will leave it like this and it should be okay and we tip the grain here and should go from there to the silo should be okay we will have to try and see I have another shed over here which is oh my god filled with equipment we have a cultivator we have a cedar some mowing equipment tether rake we have also a baler which is very good we have a tractor a b1 a 6r a john deere 6r and a planter we also can get out this way i'm going to leave these sheds open because it will be easier to to use them we have here a silo king mixer to make food for the cows this is a cow barn we also have another tractor over here another john deere uh, 4755 and i think this should be the sheep barn yes 500 sheep and this is what is this i think the horse stables if i remember correctly yes the horse stables so the first thing to do today we have the alfalfa ready to harvest we also have the wheat ready to harvest so the first thing today is going to be harvesting the wheat and cutting maybe down the alfalfa we'll see if we have enough time to do both of them in this episode we also are playing with precision farming on on this one but I'm not going to let's say get the field information using the machinery I'm just going to buy it uh, 30,000 for soil samples 
it's it's a lot but they are big fields so it's nothing we can do about it so right now let's go get the the harvester out of the shed and uh, start harvesting that wheat before we can get the harvester out i need I think we need to move this case. I'm not going to put this one on the trailer because this is, I think, our smallest tractor. Let's check here. Yes, it's our smallest tractor and we have two medium 6R and uh, 4755. So I will not cart with this one. I will use the 6R for carting. It's our most powerful tra tractor and it will not struggle on the hills and on stuff like that so I'm going to park this over here and I'm going to get the trailer and to move also this header because I cannot get out any other way the header will just go here in the on the side Uh, let's see if we can move also this one because I've put the unloader on the first silo so I'm going to put this here I'm going to raise it up because our trailer is not that small and leave it here and now let's get the let's get the combine and start that wheat harvest uh, I'm thinking also what has happened here for apparently no reason our header caught the header trailer so I don't know what happened but uh, it's, it was a little bit of a bug which is not a problem I'm going to put the header here and maybe let's see if I can manage to hook hook up uh, to the trailer on this angle I don't know now let's just maybe push it a little bit yes this should be ok now we can come from another angle and hook up to it Now let's go to the field, I think we can go past or past through our yard and uh, between the alfalfa and the corn fields and we will be able to get to the wheat field this way. I think I will do maybe two laps around the headland and then get an AI worker to finish harvesting the straw and uh, I'll take a small retractor I think the maximum the case the small case and start the alfalfa cutting I want to cut down the alfalfa then use the tether to dry it and make alfalfa hay to be able to get uh, the sheep as fast as soon as possible I don't know if it will be in this episode but for sure it can be in the next one if you manage to collect the uh, actually not collect if you manage to bail the the alfalfa so let's get the harvester unfolded and start this uh, wheat harvest I will also enable straw salt because I want to bale the straw I don't know if I'm going to sell it or keep it for the cows we'll have to to see about it let's close this menu because it pisses me off and uh, let's get going on the on the straw harvest and do a couple of laps around the, the handler then I will hire an AI worker and move to the alfalfa cutting
Ok everyone, so the alfalfa field is cut. It took some time because this mower setup is uh, relatively small. For the future I'll have to keep in mind to upgrade it and maybe get a butterfly mower for the, for the back instead of the single one. I also had to keep up with the with unloading the AI worker trail, uh, the worker combine. Uh, he did a great job, as you saw, and uh, the wheat harvest is almost finished. Uh, I just received the pop-up in the right corner of my screen saying that I, we need to unlo unload again. So let's put this more back here in the shed and uh, go unload the the combine and then we can take the tether and go back I actually let the combine go because the ogre is the wrong way again and uh, let's take this tether and start setting the alfalfa and when we will get the prompt that the combine is full we will uh, go stop the worker manually unload the combine and uh, let him go again to finish the, the wheat harvest and I think uh, maybe this setting of the alfalfa and uh, Maybe raking it will be the last two jobs on this episode because I'm looking at the recording time and it's uh, and we are almost on top of the hour with it. So I think we'll have to end it here. Let's get this harvester unloaded. And uh, then we can go finish the the tedding. Uh, of course, I will after we unload this and put the worker back on the harvest. I will start a time lapse because you don't want to watch me ted for 15 minutes. It's no fun. And in the next episode, next episode I think it will be a bailing episode. Uh, we will have to bale the straw, we will have to also bale the alfalfa and uh, maybe if we manage to finish baling and collecting the bales we can get the sheep going. These are back in pretty big fields, I think they are not the biggest but they take a lot of time to to finish which is not a bad thing because we will be able to make a lot of money from the from the crops let's put back the worker on here and get back to the uh, case and uh, start adding the alfalfa again i'll see you when this is done
the alfalfa is now dry so let's go put this tether back in the shed attach the tractor to the wind rower and bro bring it to the edge of the field and then move to the wheat harvest because I think the worker finished uh, I'll have to go and see if he missed any bits and uh, before we end this episode I want to bring the combine back to the farm and also put the wheat in the silo to be able to attach to the windrower I'll have to move this baler because it's in the way and I'll put it just on the other side on this wall uh, if I can manage to put it straight of course I leave it here because we are going to need it in the in the next episode. The next episode will be a baling episode. We have to bale the alfalfa, bale the straw from the wheat field, and hopefully we'll have time also to collect them. I'm thinking how to do that because I don't think we have a bale trailer or an auto stacker or something. We don't have. So I'm thinking about buying either a bale tra trailer or an auto stacker, but I think I will need to sell one of the tractors to afford it. And I think I will going to sell the 7155, I think it's called, the older John Deere and keep the 6R and the case tractors for for now and uh, in the future of course I'll try to upgrade them uh, after I put the wheat in the trailer I'll go and bring back the combine to the farm and then we're going to tip the wheat into the silo and see how much wheat we have in storage I checked and the best time to sell wheat should be in December January right now is the worst time and the price is very low and I don't want to sell it right now uh, probably also the corn should be should have the best price also probably December January time so we will sell our crops then probably by train the train should I think have the the best price uh, not good now it should be okay okay let's bring this back to the farm and then jump into the John Deere 6R and also bring the wheat back to put it in the in the silo I can cut through the alfalfa field because it's not a problem I'm not going to destroy it I don't want to get into the corn because the corn it's almost fully grown and uh, it can be destroyed if I drive on it without the proper wheels I mean the row crop tires and I don't have row crop tires on the harvester so I need to be careful about driving the, in the corn uh, where should we put this I think we should leave this here by the horse tables should be okay for now I don't think I'm going to need this header again the combine I will sh for sure need it to harvest the, uh, the corn but we'll need the other header for it uh, I think we are going to have around 70k liters of wheat in storage if I remember correctly what I have put in it should be 60 something and with the almost 8.5k liters in here we should get at around 70 which is not bad if we will be able to get around 800 per uh, 1000 liters we should be able to make 
45,000 50,000 on the on the wheat when we sell it, which is not bad. The wheat is a well, good yielding crop, but it's uh, let's say cheaper than canola or soybeans. Let's see how much we we will have in total. 70, 71, 72, 73, 619 thousand liters of wheat which is not bad, not bad at all so let's put this trailer, park this trailer here next to the to the shed and I will end the the episode here i hope you like this first episode of the alma series if you do you can give us a, give me a like uh, if you want to watch more videos subscribe to the channel and in the end i'll see you next time thanks for watching